Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. SHTF films, what not to do. I haven't done any films like I haven't done any videos like this in a while. Uh, I haven't watched a lot of movies, um, but I try to stay out, uh, try to stay on the lookout for any good films. Uh, I have an idea of some other movies I want to do. Uh, I want to do a bit of a review on, but I came across this one movie that pretty much gave me a big list of not <laughs> of things not to do if uh, you know if things went south, you know if, if the balloon went up, so to speak. Um, or my favorite saying, uh, the fecal matter collides with the oscillating uh, pro uh, propeller. Um, I just got this movie uh, called Goodbye World. Uh, I bought it um, while I was in Manning um, on Monday, you know, visiting my grandparents. Uh, I stopped in you know, to run some errands. And I figured I'd go to Walmart, and I, you know, they always had like you know their uh, kind of independent films. Um, on display, and I saw this one. I saw the, you know, you know. And if you look at the look at the cover, you know, it's you, you kind of get you think you have an idea as to what it's going to be about. You know, you can see a father holding the holding the girl in his right hand and holding a Mossberg 500 in his left. And yes, I had, <laughs> yes, I did come to the conclusion that that was a shotgun. You know, by looking at it, and you know, you, you think it's going to be about a guy. You know, he's overlooking. You know, and you see he's overlooking a scenery of uh, you know buildings on fire, things you know just falling apart. And like he has a mission. Well, I, going going into this movie, I you know I you know, I, I knew it was gonna be a it was gonna be an indie film, an indie film, and so I figured, well, maybe, you know I've seen some I've watched movies like that and they were pretty good, you know. Um, uh, like I did a review on the movie Stakeland. That was a, it was a uh, it was an indie film. It was, it was pretty good. Um, but I figured I'd check this one out, and as I was watching it. I was just listing listing things like no, no, what, what, why, <laughs> uh, from you know just from just some like you know the main character, uh, main character played by Adrian Grinner, uh, Grenier, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He's a uh, he's from he was in star in the show Entourage. I was on HBO. He he's a father uh, who lives up in the California woods with his wife and his little girl, and basically it's like, it's like a virus happens and it cuts off all the power and so all his college buddies um, you know they talked about something like this, something like this will happen where they would meet up they all meet up at his place now he has a it is it's really impressive it's you know so he's pretty self-sustaining he has medicine food uh, he grows you know he, he grows a lot of uh, a lot of vegetables and um, you know he has solar power you know, he's, he's in the woods, uh, which you know could be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. But he's in the woods, and you know he's familiar with his neighbors. They also do the same, some of the same things that he does. But one thing, a big <laughs> there was one big thing that I saw was wrong. <laughs> I saw was wrong with uh, with his plans, and it's funny because we talk, you know, pre uh, preppers on YouTube talk about it all the time. He had no guns. At none. In fact, one of his one of his friends, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this with a spoiler. One of his friends came over. Uh, one of his friends that came over, he brought he brought a gun. He brought a he brought a Webley revolver. Uh, he had uh, he only he, had, he only had a few rounds for it, which I won't go into why. Um, if you want to watch this movie, you know, to find out why, it's that's up to you. But when he, when it was like I think about I think it was eight of them in the house, eight adults and the one child, and, they, and he pulled the gun out of his bag. You know, the, the head of the house. He said, "No." We said, "We're not gonna." He said, "No." Why do you have a gun? I'm like, you serious? <laughs> you you just you just you, had, you just had your friends tell you, you know, there's shooting and there's, there's shooting going on. There's fires. And even even he shows concern about his safety, but that's one thing he one thing he doesn't want on his one on his property is a gun, and, and and it doesn't it doesn't go well throughout the rest of the movie because of that. <sighs> Like I said, I won't spoil it. If you if you if you do find yourself, uh, have, you know, curious about you know curious about checking out this film, and also just you know group dynamics. Uh, this movie goes into why it's best if you have personal friends. Why it's good to actually work. You know, not the whole grudges. <laughs> um, just, there was a lot of that in the film. You know, I guess for the drama, but it, it clearly you know show how things can fall apart. Um, different personalities within a group. Um, how not to, 
handle certain situations. You know, why is best to put away personal beefs? Why is good to actually help your neighbors? Because that was a big element in this movie. Uh, the main character didn't want to help. He didn't want to help. You know, even though he was familiar with the familiar with the people around him, he had medicine that he didn't. Want, he had medicine, and you know, he you know he didn't want to share it with her. he didn't want to share it with someone who was actually hurt somewhere else. And you know, just other things like that. It was a you know, I put it like this: the movie was the movie was in such a way that I watched. I just watched it once. And I'm thinking, and I'm planning on selling it somewhere today for whatever I can get for it. I only paid but ten and change for it, so I'd say it was more of an eye opener as to what what not to do, um, how not to conduct yourself, how not you know what can what can ruin group dynamics uh, if there was an SHTF event. And so you know, that's the movie Goodbye World. You know, check if you're curious about it, check it out. I personally, you know, it had, it had a happy, it had a, it had a nice happy ending, you know, just, just even though despite all the, despite all the mess that went on <laughs> um, in, in the middle, it, you know, it had, a, it had a nice ending, but it's not enough, you know, it's, but it's not like, it's no book of Eli, you know, kind of, kind of thing, or it's not the, it's not like the road, or those, those are two good films, um, but then like, but like I said, you know, the, the this cover is was well I actually I funny thing I saw a cover I typed in the I did a Wikipedia search on this movie and you know I can I guess they try to sell try to make DVD sales because in the cover he's not holding a shotgun so you know you make make of that what you, you know make of that what you uh, what you will but uh you know it is what it is so. But please tell me, do you have you ever experienced any films that you, any any films that you've seen recently that basically just gave you a big not to do list? Uh, if you have, please share you know please share the titles in the comment section. Um, I'm pretty sure other I'm pretty sure other preppers would would appreciate the info would appreciate the heads up. Uh, if you knew this channel, I uh, hope you uh, um, hope you leave a I guess leave your leave your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, you know, like subscribe. You know, check out my older videos. See if it's something that you want to stay in touch, uh, stay in tune with down the road. Any gripes, complaints? Please leave them in my comment section. Uh, but please be respectful to everyone else who leaves comments, uh, who who also leaves comments and watches this video. But you know that's my video. Ugh. SACF films. What not to do. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.